Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And last time, we, I believe, escaped um, the Tower of Babel without the crystals in hand. Um, Sid helped us uh, fix up our stolen airship, the Falcon, so we could cross lava and explore the underworld and get to the sealed cave. But before we do that, there are some optional areas to explore, and I started... Well, I entered in the last episode an area called the Fame March, which is where we get some optional Eidolons, but I decided it's probably best if I do that second and do the Sylph Cave first, so that is where I am right now. So today, we're going to be exploring the Sylph Cave, one of my least favourite areas in the entire game. The reason being is simply because, I mean, the music's great and the atmosphere's cool, but the enemies in this area are so fucking annoying and there's a lot of doors and chests to get, and like, looking at the map in front of me, this already looks unpleasant. Now, just like the f path to the, uh, to the Fey March, you want to be having Rosicast flow on every new area, because when you move into a new area in this game, it actually gets rid of your float status. So make sure you're reapplying it when you can. And we get a bestiary and some angel arrows, and it looks like there's a secret passage so we can get to that chest. Yeah, we can't access it from the top here. So, yeah, let's explore. Alright, we have some new enemies here. Evil Dreams. I believe these guys can put you to sleep, among other status effects. This is why the enemies in this area are so annoying. It's, oops, sorry. Because they like to cast a lot of status effects on you. And that is really annoying. Um, maybe I'll try Bio on these guys. Yeah, as far as I recall, these guys like to status you, or they just like to cast Fyro. Which I much prefer to being statused. They also seem to have a lot of hit points. Oh, I didn't mean to attack Viridia there. Oh well. Wow, that actually hit kind of hard. Yeah, another reason why I wanted to wait to do the Fey March area is because we are going to need Rosa to have the Reflect spell to defeat a certain boss. And I'd rather avoid grinding too much than I already have. Um, so I think going through the Sylph Cave first makes sense. Yeah, these enemies are kind of beefy, as you can see here. Alright, so if we go down here, there's a staircase. So now we are in basement two. And, oh god. I think... What we want to do... <laughs> you know what, it's so difficult to tell where we want to go first. But I think what we want to do is come, yeah, come down here. Look at, yeah, we'll come down here. We'll come down here. I apologize because there's going to be a lot of me pausing uh, in this video to look at the map. Oh god, yeah, the bog witch. So, <clears throat> yeah, she goes, sing my pretties, and then cast. they cast Toad. Ugh. Well, the, thankfully, they untoated Rydia. Yeah, you want to try and kill the Bug Witch as soon as possible. Uh, let me untoad Cecil first. Uh, as I can assume a cane as well. Yeah, the, the toads aren't exactly a threat, it's just the Bog Witch makes them cast Toad on you, which is super annoying. And they're doing it again. Wow, what is with the enemy speed? Holy shit. Why are the enemies so fast? Wow. Okay, they undid it to Cecil. Hey, Kane. Oh, god fucking damn it, man. 
God fucking damn it, man. I already hate this area. And they- she has so much HP. It's actually crazy. It's better if I just attack with Rydia to just, like, try and kill her faster. On. Oh, there we go. Yeah, die. Jeez. Yeah, so I think the bog toads by themselves don't actually cast toad. I think they're kind of helpless. So you can just kill them one by one. Yeah, you see what I mean about this area so far? This isn't even the worst of it, either. <clears throat> and I'm not even getting lost yet. Just wait till I'm getting lost. Ugh. Right. That's green shit on the floor. God damn it. Yeah, casting float in every room you enter is really annoying. Don't know why they made it like that and why it can't just stay on you. Um, for the whole time. Makes no fucking sense. I feel like I've got to recast it again already. Um, yeah, there's a save point here already, which is nice. We know where it is at least. Yeah, we can go with the secret passage and get that chest we didn't get before. Alright, some new enemies, Marlboro and Tunnelers. And if you know anything about Marlboros from Final Fantasy, you know they're going to cast Bad Breath on you and probably inflict a shit ton of status ailments. And I'd like to avoid that if at all possible. And I'm pretty sure they're weak to fire, so I'm going to summon it for it. And I'm even going to haste Rydia. I don't want to deal with Marlboros. There we go. Thankfully we avoided it. Come on. Okay, there it is. This, yeah. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. He's confused. He's toted. Probably some other stuff as well. He's probably poisoned. Should get at least one of them though. Oh wow, it got the tunnel. I guess they made me not weak to fire. Didn't look like it there, did it? On top of them casting bad breath, their physical attacks are also kind of nasty. Could have sworn these Marlboros weak to fire, man. That sucks. Let me just cast fire and see. It might have been the split damage. Uh, I don't know what that did. It might have been the split damage that made it look worse. No, they're just... They're not weak. Wow, okay. Oh my god, Edge. Your defense So And he's sapped. Edge is gonna die. Oh my life. <laughs> Jeez. You need to heal that, buddy. Alright. Again, Elven Bow, which I'm guessing is an upgrade from the Killer Bow for Rosa. Yeah, it's slightly better. Alright, now, yeah, we want to go to the left. Gotta say, the music in this place is very, very chill, very nice. Now, nah, you know what, I'm going to use the save point. Because, yeah, I'm already using quite a lot of it. Yeah, I've already used like half Rydia's MP, which is just crazy, but... The enemies in here are just ridiculous. I feel like I'm going to end up coming back to the save point again. There's only like three separate floors in this place, and it's still ridiculously long. 
Also, how annoying is that? If you notice, it got rid of our float. Also, I should start using cottages because it doesn't restore all my MP anymore. Yeah. Resting removes our float. Don't know why the game sees it as a negative status effect. Okay. So, we, yeah, we'll grab these chests and then go down that staircase. Alright, some new mammon enemies. I'm gonna cast a summon on a big group like this. Probably cast Mist Dragon. I would cast Ifrit, but I know the Evil Dreamers, I believe, absorb fire. I mean, they're casting fire on you, so it's probably a bit of a clue. God, why are the enemies so much faster than me? Holy shit. It seems so slow. I feel so slow. Yeah, like, if there's nothing to go by, like, the enemies are strong, like, they survive physical attacks from all three of my physical attackers. Like, they survive a round of combat with every single one of them. And I didn't even do that much. God damn, man. I gotta get Edge some better equipment. His defense really sucks. Why would you attack different ones? Oh man. Yeah, they do put you to sleep, or they try to at least. Jesus. Edge is about to die. How is that one not dead? Oh my god, that took way too long. I'm going to be in here quite a while. It probably won't seem as bad to you guys, because I'll eventually, when I stop running into new enemies... Oh, they cast Berserk. I'll, uh, I'll stop, um, obviously, showing the encounters, but... Yeah, this is going to suck. Just cast Kuraga. Yeah, I have a feeling the Sylph Cave might be a whole episode. Honestly. I mean, at least I'm not mo- I mean, I'm not mopping the floor with the enemies for a change. I guess, but they just- They're not difficult, they just have a lot of HP. And the toad bitch is a bit annoying, but other than that, it's not actually been that bad. These these guys are just massive HP sponges. Oh wow, yeah. Rosa has fire arrows equipped. I should have done that earlier, Jesus. So we can grab some gill and a cottage. So, uh, yeah, I do want to go up that room. Why is that chest empty? Huh? If I come in the wrong place. I have not been here yet. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't know why there was an empty chest there. That's strange. But anyway. I want to come here. Mm. Even though I said it in the video, I, I've already forgotten. Yeah, a lot of treasure here. Eye potion, ether, thunder arrows, ice arrows, and fire arrows. Big whoopity do. Just make sure they're stacking up. Okay, my fire arrows 
Oh, because I have them equipped. Hold on. Yeah, it's just I'm already running out of space. I mean, I can discard stuff if necessary, but I like to avoid it. So I don't know if I want to go through door six just yet. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know what I want to do, to be honest. I think I need to go back to door three. I know you guys don't know where that is, and I apologize. I just basically need to go back the way we came. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just running away from those bug witches. Fuck that shit. <clears throat> it's honestly just not even worth... Oh my god, I've got cast float. It's not even worth me, like the effort of fighting them. The Marlboros aren't actually that bad, because most of the time you avoid bad breath anyway, but they don't always cast it. So we're back here, and yeah, we want to go back to, the you know, holy crap, man, holy crap, <laughs> the enemies in here, yeah, I mean, the game, honestly, the game kind of tells you to come here, but, I mean, it kicks your ass in this place. Of all the optional areas, the Sylph Cave is incentivized to come to first. The dwarves mention it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm using a cottage. Yeah, Jesus Christ. This place is no joke. Be prepared. <laughs> I don't know like how difficult it would have been if I'd done the Fame Arch first. Um, but I would have had to grind to get a certain spell. So, I mean, it would have kind of removed... Uh, I swear to God, Edge is the biggest liability of any character. He just dies in every fight. It's actually crazy. He, his defense is so bad for a frontline fighter. I don't know what... Like, I can't... You can't buy him any better equipment because he can't equip heavy armor. And that's the only stuff we've found so far. Like, we, we haven't got any better equipment for this kid. This is ridiculous. Yeah, there's another door up top that I haven't been through yet. So, I want to go here. Oh my god. Right. Where is this taking me? Okay. <laughs> Why? Why did I decide to do this cave, man? Could have just not done it. Could have just pretended it never existed. Oh my life. Fairy rod, huh? Right, let's check. Let's do the intelligence check. A wisdom check. 52. So, will the change rod finally be surpassed? 57. It has been. Finally. After so long, the change rod has met its match. Alright, so what we want to do... Seven. Yeah. That's... Yeah, we want to go that way. Fuck those guys. I don't give a shit. Fuck them. Oh, God. This map's wrong. I 
think. Uh, I actually don't know. I guess we can't actually get down there. Never mind. It just looks kind of weird on. It just looks kind of wonky on here. Oh god, man. Oh, you know what I realized? Oh god, fucking damn it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking in this place. This is what you get when you go after all the treasure, man. There's a pit there. Do I want to fall down that? No. That's how you get out. Made. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know if I want to fall down there yet. No, I have that. I think I want to go... To water, yeah. Back to where we were. I should have done this bit first. I'm so dumb. Right, guys. I'm just going to cut all this out and go back to where... Basically back to where the save point is, but like further along that way. You'll know where I mean. Alright, I'm back where we were. So there was this room up here where we got all the chests. And in, when I was walking over, Rosa leveled up and learned Reflect, which is the spell that we need for the Fey March area. So I guess she was only like a couple levels off, which isn't so bad. Fuck those witches, man. Fuck them. Oh, like, I just don't want to fight them, and then as I'm running away, they just screw you with toad spells. But yeah, we can go around the secret passage and get this chest, which we can see before. Oh, it's a monster in a box. Of course. I, it, my new strategy is just to kill the toads first. Because if we can kill the toads, then there's less targets that are gonna toad me. <laughs> you know? That's my logic. I mean, yeah, it's worth a shot. God damn it. Okay, they undid it. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Any day now, guys. Alright, just kill her now. I bioed her once. Fuck, I didn't know I targeted a fucking toad. Okay, well, it doesn't matter now. It's very overkill. A mage masher. I don't know if I can edge equip this. Is there any use for this weapon? You can. It's actually better. Okay, cool. Uh, my inventory's full. I'm gonna have to discard some stuff. Like the killer bow. Bye. And the emergency exit. And the bomb core, because I'll never use it. Okay. Down here. Right, we're not that far away from the end, quote unquote. I think. Elixir. If, honestly, if I've missed something, looking at all the treasure, there's like one chest that I want, and that's on the way out. So, I think we should be fine with all the treasure. Fuck Edge, man. Look at this guy. And he died in that fight. Not only did he get all stars to fuck, 
So yeah, they put Toad, Mini, Pig, Silence, and Blind on you all at once with bad breath. That's fucking ridiculous, man. Oh wow, Cecil's really injured. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, are you kidding me? No. I don't care about dropping Gil right now. Are you serious? No, that is that is prime bullshit right there. What's this? Salvation. Think. Humans? Yeah, we're humans. What are you doing here? Wait a minute. We won't let you take him. We found him in front of the cave. We've been taking care of him since, but he's yet to awaken. It's young. He's alive. Is there no scene? Oh man. So yeah, Young's alive. No one dies in this game. It's just a fact, a rule. We get cat and help. I don't know why we get more claws in here. Um, even though Young's never coming back into the party. I, uh... I'm gonna have to discard more things. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. I don't ever use these items. That's better. Ah, uh, no. This is gonna take me out. But there's still treasure I haven't got. It from that pit. I have to walk all the way back. You gotta be fucking shitting me, man. <laughs> if I go up here, this will take me out of the cave. I really thought there was a scene with Young. In the DS version, there was a scene. He's yet to awaken. Oh, to wake him up, get the pun from his wife in Fabul Castle. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. So we have to come back to this fucking place? Wow, I get we can return to the overworld later. I don't actually think we can return to the overworld just yet. Um, I think we have to do that later. Wow, we gotta return to this place. God damn. I'll be damned if I come back here. Um, yeah, I gotta walk all the way back to that pit in the ground now, if you remember where that was. Uh, I don't even remember where that was, to be frank with you. Oh god, yeah, I'll meet you back there. Right, back here. Jesus Christ, how many times have I backtracked through this goddamn area? We're gonna fall through here, and now we're on the other side. Oh, now we're on the other side of where the Sylph house is. So if we come round this way, come round this- Oh my fuck off! Are you serious? No. No. No game. No. Fuck you. For so I don't know what that tile is supposed to be, but it teleports us. For whatever reason. I don't know what it is. Uh, have I got inventory space for six chests? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Monsters. Typical. Aww, oh, six evil dreams. You gotta be fucking shitting me. And Edge is about to die. What else is new? And he's dead. What a shit character. Fuck you, Edge. He's so bad. Oh my god. Wow.
Okay, six evil dreams is too much. Too much game. You gotta learn when enough is enough. Yeah, Miss Dragon seems to do the best against these guys. That's what I've been doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can Rosa have a turn? Finally, one of them's dead. Please give Rosa a turn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get it off, 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 get it off. Get it off. <laughs> oh my god. What? Why did that do, like, nothing? Or am I seeing numbers wrong? But that looked like it did absolutely nothing. I, I don't know. I honestly just don't know anymore. I'm at a complete loss. Die! Please! I'm so sick of this. Why did I show this fight? You know what? Uh, my advice to you is just to not come to this area at all. Game's probably more enjoyable. All that for Red Fang? All of that shit for Red Fang? Nah, no, you got you taking the piss. You're, you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. Oh my god, they're all monsters. A full moon. Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. I'm running out of MP. I... Oh my... I can't do this. This is crazy. These fights are stupid. Is the Ashura better than the Mage Masher? No. Like, this is actually crazy. Oh, this game. All of that, again, six dreamers for a fucking white fang, which I will never use. Oh, this game physically hurts. This game physically hurts sometimes. Still isn't as bad as Final Fantasy VI, but... Mother of God. This treasure room is awful. Alright, we got an Avenger Sword. For Cecil, I'm assuming. I uh, can't use it. A sword that Cecil can't use. What? Um. Oh, is that a knife? No, it's a sword. That's a sword icon. What the fuck? It's not for Edge, is it? 
Uh, I can't be right. Unless I have to remove my shield. Is it a two-handed sword? That's surely not a thing. Oh, it is! A two-handed sword. This weapon is two-handed. It's only three attack power more. It's actually, no, it's actually better. It's actually better defense. To equip instead of, oh wow, okay, interesting. A two-handed sword that's better than a shield as well, and Cecil's better defense. Uh, oh my god. Sage hat getting thin. I guess Kane now gets the ogre's axe. Ogre killer. Ah, oh. actually, completely missed what I just got from that chest. A blue fang. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Like, the fang items, as far as I'm aware, aren't even that potent. It's just completely pointless. And that was two tunnelers for some Medusa arrows. That was completely pointless as well. And now, my inventory is completely full. Good fucking job, that's the end of the dungeon. Holy shit. Fuck the Sylph Cave, <laughs> honestly. That's all I have to say. Uh, I'm going for a sleep, and I'm gonna go to the Fat Chocobo, and I'm gonna end this episode, because regardless of how long it is by the time I finish editing, that's enough from, for me for one day. Holy crap. I know we could have gone to the pot, but I'm lazy. <sighs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there you go, there's a the Sylph Cave. Um, now, we can actually go to the Fey March, as promised. Yeah, you definitely want Rosa to have a uh, Reflect. That'll make things so much easier. Everything coming up. Yeah, time to deposit some shit into this fat bird. This <laughs> is the stupidest thing. We're just putting items into its belly. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, let's store that. Let's store, 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 store these, store that. Boom, boom. We'll store the ice stuff too. Yeah. I think we're good. That's better. Alright, so that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, and in the next one, we will go to the Fey March, to the land of the Eidolans. Excuse me, thank you so much for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.